Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the restaurant booking feature and how you can set it up and how it works. So you turn it on obviously in the back office first uh, and come to your features tab and you'll see it right here, restaurant booking. Um, we've got four, five tabs up here, reservations, vouchers, restaurant, and employees and options. Uh, you can set up your options, uh, your date format, your time format, time zone, day of the week, all of that kind of stuff here. Um, the reservation information, um, you would have the currency that you would uh, be dealing in. Uh, and if there's a deposit fee, you're requesting for reservations, uh, the default reservation length. Um, all this stuff is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Basically, they can choose and edit uh, the information as you need, uh, as you see fit. Um, you'll see the reservation form here. These are the fields of information that you can ask for clients when they're signing up for a reservation. Uh, you can have yes, no, or, or yes required. Um, the confirmation tab here displays the confirmation confirmation messages that are going to your customers. So upon receiving a upon making a reservation, this is the information that the customer will, will receive in an email. Okay, um, you've got. Uh, if there's a payment uh, uh, email subject here, so if they, they made a payment for the booking, this is the message they would receive. You've got a few different messages here in the email um, inquiry right here, and then a cancel message booking right here as well. Okay, so these are all customizable. You can all um, uh, you can edit all this stuff. You can see the administrator tab here as well. This is the emails that the admin that the admins will get um, once a, a booking has been made. Again, all of these things can be uh, customized to put whatever information you'd want in as well. You've got your terms and conditions uh, tab right here. Um, again, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, your countries, you can activate, deactivate uh, many uh, countries uh, in the list here. Okay, so right now I've got one that's active. Uh, you can activate or deactivate uh, whatever you need. Uh, coming over to the reservations tab, this is what you'll see. Uh, there's nothing in this database, it's pretty, pretty empty right now, but you'll see uh, the table as well as the uh, hours of operation that you're open and any bookings that you would have. So let's uh, go to the restaurant now. So there's two ways you can set this up. Um, when you click on the restaurant view, the first thing you'll see is the time, the default uh, booking time. Uh, you can have uh, default times here open and closed. Uh, as well as uh, you can use them for all the different days of the week as well as custom times so on a specific date for example on a holiday christmas day you're open uh between this time and this time you can have uh have that set up as well uh once the working uh, time is done you can either choose seat map or tables you can set up different tables if you uh, upload a seat map you'd basically be prompted to, to add a, uh, a map of the uh, image here and what, what you're seeing right now is a very large image map um, I can delete this. I'm not going to because it's live. These guys are working on it still. Um, if you're using a seat map, you need to check this off. And what a seat map does is basically allows you to put a hotspot over a table. Uh, and then you can basically give the table a name, table 18, for example, the capacity, how many people it can, it can seat, and what's the minimum uh, number of people needed to book this table. Okay? You would do that, and then people would be able to see a seat map in the restaurant and actually pick locations uh, where they want to sit as far as uh, making your bookings go. Alternatively, you can also just set up tables. So we've got one set up here that you guys saw over here. Uh, so let me set up another one to show you what it looks like. So we've got 1A right here. I will add a uh, table. Add table. We'll call this uh, 2A. Capacity we'll say is uh, let's say it's 6. And then the minimum we need is 2 people. So now I've got two tables right here, 1A and 2A. And when you go to the reservations tab, you'll see two different tables. So let me just go back here and just, uh, make this an edit to A. This looks a little more uniform. Um, and basically that's it. So once the tables have been set up, whether you're using a seat map or a table list, um, that's essentially all you need to do. Um, let's take a look at what it looks like on the front end. You'll see the link right here at the bottom here. This is the front end link. You can embed this on your client's websites. So I click that. You'll see what it looks like. Um, you basically have the date here. Uh, you can pick a date. You can say a time. Uh, and then how many people are in your party. Check availability and it will pop up. Okay, here's a table. Table 1A is available uh, on this date. Um, and then you would basically go ahead and fill out the information. Uh, as required. Again, keep in mind these are all customizable fields. You can ask for as much or as little information as you see fit. 
Uh, once this is done, check the, uh, I have read the terms and conditions and check out and you will get a confirmation of your table listing, of your table booking. I uh, and essentially that's it. So you've set the table up, you've got the reservations going. Uh, you can see a list as, as well as, as reservations um, of people that are, are uh, in your reservations list. You'll see a schedule here. You'll see today's date, tomorrow's date, and you'll see basically a visual here. Uh, and uh, that's it. All the other uh, items here are pretty self-explanatory. Vouchers, you're able to add a voucher code, for example, if you want to give, if you want to give your clients really to get a discount on a, on a booking, you'd be able to do that, do that here. By clicking the voucher code, adding a code here, this kind of amount uh, is either an amount, a dollar figure, or a percentage amount, and it's valid during a fixed period of time, uh, fixed time, period of time, or recurring. Uh, and that's it. And they would use that code on the checkout, which would be entered here if there was a voucher set up. You'd see a voucher code here as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.